Welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Time to talk tech and talk flexi displays. They're no longer just prototypes as smartphones have actually released models this year with flexible screens, but they come at a price. In fact, the most expensive mainstream smartphone is the LG G Flex. At 70,000 rupees, it costs more than an iPhone. But does it make sense to invest in that kind of technology? That's the question we're answering for you, even as we tell you about this phone. The LG G Flex is different. Unlike other phones which have tapered edges, this one is actually curved. From top to bottom, the entire screen and the body have that concave shape, narrowing your viewing angle to the phone. To achieve this curve stage, even the internals and the battery are customized to this phone. Now the first thing that you would probably ask is, what's the use of a curved display? I mean, it's not something that can be rolled up into something smaller. That's how we imagine flexible displays to be. It's pretty rigid, but it does feel really comfortable to hold because of the curved form factor. And it is flexible to an extent. The phone can bend if you put pressure on it. Normally, any other phone would snap, but the G Flex won't. The other unique feature on this phone is self-healing. Now, it sounds gimmicky, but basically the back cover of this phone is actually capable of removing minor scratches. On trying this out uh, with a fork, we found that it does work to an extent and all the small scratches did seem to vanish. But the big ones, those stayed on. In other words, the G Flex would retain its finish over a longer period of time and you won't really bother about the small scratches that you would get by placing your device on different surfaces. Apart from the flexible display and the self-healing back, the LG G Flex has the same internals like any other premium smartphone. A quad-core processor, 2 GB of RAM, a 6-inch HD screen, 32 GB of internal memory. We like the fact that LG has gone with the back buttons like the LG G2, which makes it incredibly comfortable to operate for a device this size. The camera also at 13 megapixels is as good as most of the other premium smartphones. It's not the best, but well above average. Even on the performance front, there are no issues. The usual LG Optimus interface with options like multi-window stand out. Even the knock-on feature to turn on and turn off the device by tapping the screen is pretty handy. On browsing the web and playing games, it all seemed good and it was a matter of time before we got used to the curved screen. It's when you turn the device sideways in landscape mode that things feel better. Watching movies on a curved screen works very well. All in all, the curved shape does make the device comfortable to hold, but it has no significant advantages over a regular phone. The G Flex is a great way for LG to showcase its technologies. It does give a glimpse of things to come, but for 70,000 rupees, it's not really worth it. It's not got a full HD screen, not got expandable memory, and the LG G2, which is at half the price, offers better value. Case closed. Moving on, affordable price points and premium performance. That's what's buzzing in the tech space. After the success of the Moto G, it's launched its big brother, the Moto X. Here's a first look. The Moto X is the true inspiration behind the Moto G, hence it has the same shape and the same 4.7 inch HD screen. We like this form factor and the phone fits well in the hand for single handed operation. The Moto X comes loaded with the latest Android KitKat and boasts of a very snappy performance. The camera on this one is bumped up to 10 megapixels compared to the 5 megapixels on the Moto G. We will bring you a complete review of the Moto X next week and tell you if it's worth your money. The PS4 has a new exclusive title on the market, Infamous Second Son. Stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. In this third-person game, players play Delson Rowe, a man that possesses superhuman powers. I got this whole thing figured out. You hit the town, Maybe swing by the space needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. It's set in a world inhabited by superhumans who exist amongst regular people. So the storyline is a lot like X-Men. 
What's cool is that you get to decide whether you want to be a good guy or a bad guy as your morality is tested through tough decisions so the game's story can go either way. Combat is exciting as you dodge projectiles, blow up things and moving around is also a lot of fun as you jump over buildings with your superhuman powers. The graphics and the detailing is great, something that truly takes advantage of the next gen console. The game is available for 4000 rupees. Time for another quick break on Aspire from tech to auto. We've got something very exciting coming up. It's the battle of the performance coupes. The new BMW M6 Grand Coupe takes on the Audi RS7.